Alrighty, this is Darren again, and we are going to paint her ruffles this time. This is just going to be a quick base coat with uh, pure white. And I don't think there's a whole lot to talk about on this. Uh, actually, this is going to be more difficult than I thought. Doesn't want to get down into the... There we go into the ribs very well. This is a little thin. I think it'll work. I could go really insane and try to paint each individual ruffle with the shade and the highlight. But I think that would be crazy on a tabletop mini such as this. It's not meant to be a display piece. Not supposed to win any awards. Of course if you did want to try to win an award with it I missed that. Yep, I hit it. Yeah. I was saying if we did want to win an award, we probably would want to paint each individual ruffle and then do a highlight for each one. I think I'm going to switch brushes here. We're going to go with a smaller brush. Hadn't really planned on that, but I think that spot is just a little bit too tight for what I'm trying to do. It's a little hard to get in exactly where I want the paint to go. And it's bleeding off here. It's becoming a wash. Should probably let that dry. But I actually just saw I've got more ruffles over here, so I'll work on that while the other stuff's drying. And one thing I've noticed is that since all these ruffles paint, not paint, face the same direction. It's kind of like rubbing a cat the wrong way on it. If I brush up, it grabs too much paint, so I'm having to keep brushing down. I don't think that really matters to a lot of people, but Actually, kind of getting a little too wet in there. So, I think this is going to take several small, thin coats. Maybe why I'm having such trouble there. So, let's just turn her upside down. Maybe I can get to that easier. Oh, yeah. It's one nice thing about having the mini temporarily based on something you can move around like this. So it's easy to do the little upside down tricks. Move things around. Get another coat this way. Now this is one area I think maybe a white primer would have been really good because it would be very nice and bright 
barely touched that edge right there. Although I might put a trim on that, that wouldn't matter. So think about that. Let's go back in here. Catch up all the little spots that I see. And it bled there. Huh. I don't think there's anything I can do about that just right now. So we'll have to come back with some blue and brush over that. I wonder how I did that right there. Hmm. I'm planning to do a light wash on this in yellow. Reason is, I don't really know. <laughs> I think it would give kind of a ivory look to it. I think my other option was to use yellowed bone, but I don't think that would look very well. I think it's too brown. So we're just going to give it a light yellow wash. That's my sincere hope. It doesn't look like she's wet herself. So we'll let that dry, and then we'll get to the the yellow wash on that. Okay, I have a mixture of some yellow, sunlight yellow, actually, and I almost don't want to do this. I think the white ruffles look very nice and very pretty right now. But unfortunately, Curiosity killed the cat. I wonder what the yellow is going to do. So it's just a light drop of yellow with some water and a drop of Future for Floor Polish. The reason I'm doing yellow is I am limiting my palette to just those colors that would come in the first Reaper Bone Set. Right offhand, that didn't look terrible. It does add a spot of color, which is really what I was wanting. Because this is a light colored wash, and I'm only going to do it once, I don't think it'll be too terrible chalkiness wise. I think it'll just give that smallest of tint. Just add a little interest to it, so it's not just a big flat white bulk. I don't have any real plan on any of this. I'm just kind of hitting it where I don't see a lot of color. Seems to be down at the edges a lot. Kind of sucked into that middle crease there, but I'm going to let it be.
And I think I'm going to leave it at that. Call it good.